Good morning, good afternoon. What's going on there, guys? It is the uh, the Earthmaster here. A little bit better today with my voice. At least I have somewhat of uh, usage of my vocals today. It is uh, Christmas Day, December 25th, 2021, about 10.40 a.m. California time. The latest quake, a 3.3 earthquake, surprise, surprise, up here off the coast of Northern California once again, uh, right around the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Also the uh, Mendocino Triple Point Junction region. Let's go ahead and look at the activity occurring out here in this area of the world. Uh, some movement kicking off here off the coast of Northern California. Also at the northern end of the Cascadia here on this Earthquakes Canada map. Let's go ahead and bring up the plate boundary so you guys can see what I'm uh, trying to talk about here. Got the Juan de Fuca plate. Uh, well, you got the Gorda Juan de Fuca Explorer plate. Either way, the Cascadia subduction zone. We had seen some movement, a little bit further activity up here to the north off of uh, the uh, Vancouver Island area. You can see the orange circles there indicating recent activity. Also over here to the Pacific side, seen some movement as well with a couple threes kicking off here a couple days ago. But the activity here on the USGS map paints a little bit picture, a little bit uh, more of a, of a uh, scenario here with the earthquake activity occurring. Uh, looks as though they have revised a little bit. I don't know where all the uh, the all magnitudes went to, but uh, there was definitely a lot more within this region. I know there's more. Uh, we've been we were watching these uh, earthquakes come into the seismograph last night and overnight. But uh, for whatever reason, the USGS just wants to show two 4.0s and two 3.3s, uh, just a little on the odd side. And I'm not for sure if these have been reviewed or not. We'll go ahead and check out this activity. A couple different timestamps here. Uh, got 1557, 1557 on each of these. So I'm taking it that uh, they have not been reviewed yet by seismologists, which uh, verifies this automatic status for these earthquakes uh, that occurred here around the region of Northern California. But I don't know what they did. I don't. I don't know how the earthquake activity magically stopped here in Northern California. Uh, I just find that a little bit on the odd side. Uh, let's see, 02, 1550. It's just a little weird. Some weird activity going on here as to why they would st completely stop the uh, earthquake activity. Uh, at least here on this map, there's way more than what's showing up here on this area. Where's all the microquakes? Where's all the ones and twos? They're not up there. They're, they've, they've turned off. I think they turned off the little switch there to where it doesn't put them out. Anyway, according to these guys, two 4.0s and two 3.3s. Uh, one is going to be a false quake, it looks like, because they have not been reviewed yet. Um, but uh, activity, uh, it's kind of why I like to run the live seismograph stations, folks. We can see the activity that's coming in real time. Um, they can't hide the earthquake activity that's occurring near the Cascadia. Uh, I don't know why they would do that in the first place. But look at Oregon and Washington. Apparently, it has gone absolutely quiet. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I had to do a little cough here. I'm still kind of sick, still trying to get it out of my system. But the all, the one day all magnitudes here just looks a little, looks a little sketchy up here to the north. No activity whatsoever throughout the Pacific Northwest, not even none. And, and no microquake activity occurring in this region. That's just, I find it very odd. Um, in fact, it looks like most of the Northern California section uh, very quiet, including the Ridgecrest, Long Valley Supervolcano, and areas northward all pretty quiet. Uh, just a little sporadic movement around the south part of the state, off the coast of Santa Barbara, and some movement once again uh, around the uh, Palomar Observatory. You can almost see a circular fashion out here uh, with the uh, Palomar Observatory lined up directly with one of those um, one of those dots there. A little swarm of movement over here along this range as well. What is that? The Pinion Ridge, Bor uh, Borrego Springs, 2.1 kilometer or a 2.1 earthquake, along with many microquakes kicking off in this region. Pretty deep. 12 uh, looks like 11 to 12 kilometers there, just off the El Sonor Fault. I'm, I'm going to get it right. <laughs> I keep reading the comments on the uh, correct pronunciation there of that, uh, but. 
El Sonor, right? All right. A little bit of movement down on the Brawley Seismic Zone, a little extensional fault here of the San Andreas. Nothing big, but uh, activity in general, just I find it very odd that uh, earthquake activity has magically stopped. I just don't believe that for one second here in the uh, Eureka area. Movement uh, throughout the eastern part of the country, gone as well. what they do? Do they turn off all notifications for the, uh, for the states? One area that is showing up here, rocking and rolling, is out here in the Pacific Ocean, the big island of Hawaii, kicking up uh, with some activity uh, quite a bit uh, around the Lohi Seamount. Let's see if this is, uh, kind of make this full screen here, stand by for one second. Uh, I guess that'll work for right now. Uh, but yeah, Lohi Seamount, southeast flank up there around the uh, extreme eastern part of Hawaii as well. Just seen some earthquake movement at 2.3. Anali Estates, 42 kilometers. Some deeper movement kicking off here, folks, into this area of Hawaii. But the Lohi Seamount was uh, definitely rocking last night. Uh, of course, they had that 4.1 or 4.9 yesterday around the Lohi Seamount. And um, overnight, they had another four-pointer. I think it was a 4.2, got downgraded, of course, to a 3.9. Uh, looks like the earthquake has been reviewed, so it's going to stick at the uh, 3.9 level. Since then, it looks like just a 2.9 occurring overnight uh, in that region. So a little bit of shady stuff going on out here with the uh, notifications, but it could be, it definitely could be contributed to the massive amount of earthquake activity occurring around the Fiji Islands area. Look at all these deep, significant movement, uh, earthquakes here. One of these, 629 kilometers, we don't see them too deep there, but uh, when they do, that's some major activity kicking up well below the surface. 4.6, 629 kilometers, and that's not the only one. We had a couple other ones around the 500, 400, and a couple on the 200 range. A little bit of surface adjustment up here along the Tonga Trench with a 5.9 at 8.6 kilometers. Uh, temporarily, I think this could be uh, what's causing the lack of activity out here along the North American Pacific Plate, but I can't be certain of it because uh, USGS is doing some shady stuff with the earthquake activity up here in Northern California. But uh, we're definitely watching Pacific Plate big time today uh, with all that deep movement kicking off. And of course, the major watch zone up here, the Tokyo Trench, or Japan Trench, uh, of course Tokyo over here, and the Kuro Kamchaka Trench. This area has remained awfully quiet for significant movement. Of course, they do see some activity, right? Fours, fives, uh, when they're lucky, and some deeper movement here, but uh, not the release of pressure we have been uh, looking for uh, since the uh, since the uh, the uh, mega quake back in uh, 2011. There's just been a lot of accumulated stress here in this region. All right, guys, let's see what else we got. Uh, Alaska getting in on a little bit of activity up here to the north. And uh, some, what do we got, 4.2, somewhat moderate earthquake activity here along the Aleutian Trench. I was looking at this deeper movement here. 200, 200 kilometers up here into the subduction zone. Of course, this area can see a lot of accumulated stress as well within a short amount of time. Deeper movement here adding uh, potential stress and pressure along the subduction zone of the Aleutian Trench. So got to watch this area as well uh, for possible further movement. South America still uh, relatively quiet. Just a couple small earthquakes along the Peru-Chile Trench. Nothing deep, nothing significant. 4.6, the largest quake in that uh, little earthquake sequence. And the South Sandwich Islands area, 5.0 from yesterday. That one about ready to drop off the globe. Uh, out here well south of South Africa in the Southwest Indian Ridge, 5.4. That uh, area has seen a little bit of swarming movement up and down there. Nothing significant, but a little bit of activity taking place and some adjustment out there in that region of the, uh, of the planet. Areas over here in the Middle East and the Mediterranean all look somewhat uh, quiet today. Some activity from yesterday around the France area and also Pakistan with a 4.6 earthquake in that region. 
Uh, trimmer last night, of course, was yellow, I mean uh, clear, uh, unlike my head and my sinuses and my throat. <laughs> Nothing, no trimmer to report at all, once again, along the Cascadia subduction zone. So uh, just kind of waiting to see what's going on with that region uh, today. No movement along the Yellowstone area. Things pretty quiet in that area. And looking at, uh, let's go ahead and look, look at the live seismographs here. Real, real quick, Petrolia does look pretty quiet. That's going to be the station right here. I've been watching the BC station with some sporadic spikes of earthquakes, very small ones, but uh, some earthquake activity occurring up there uh, towards the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone on that seismograph. Uh, but uh, let's see what else. we got other stations looking uh, pretty quiet for now. But uh, don't let your guard down, folks. A lot of activity taking place there below the Fiji area with all that deep movement. And once again, uh, what do we got here? Solomon Islands, a little bit of activity, but the uh, main one to watch for movement is the Petrolia Station, uh, Northern California. When we get an earthquake, it pretty much flatlines this activity with a big spike. Uh, even a two or three would do that to the localized seismograph station there in that region. So just keep an eye on that. I don't think the uh, USGS has been all that uh, honest in the uh, activity reporting. I mean, look at look at the country. No earthquake activity in Oklahoma, Texas, anywhere. I don't believe that for one bit. All right, guys. Enjoy your Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. Happy holidays and whatnot. And uh, we've got some more rain coming in here to California. Going to uh, finish opening some presents here with the family. And enjoy the day. And take a shot at daytime medicine in hopes of some sickness relief. Have a good day, folks. Chat to you later.